guys, Austin from the Stroking Out Loud podcast, back at it again. I got another guitar review for you today. We are reviewing the Mitchell MS450. Pick this up at Guitar Center. You know me, they love me there. Uh, I can't stay away from that place. This is the Mitchell MS450. It is a Les Paul body style. Um, some specs on it. It's all mahogany, solid body, set neck here as you can see. Um, it's got mahogany neck. It's like a shallow C shape, so it's pretty comfortable, honestly. It plays really well, and it's beautiful. A beautiful mahogany back. I mean, really pretty. Uh, I like that. It's got a flamed maple top. They call this one the Aqua Burst. It's supposed to be more blue on the outside. This one came out a little bit green, but I, I really like it. Flamed maple top, pretty sweet. It comes with humbuckers. They are... I think they're called like Alco, Alcio 5s or something. I'm not really too sure. I have notes and I don't know where they're at now. So for ripping guys. Um, yeah, it's got humbuckers. So, and you could also convert them to single coil. It's got the push pulls. So you can make them single coil fancy if you want. That's pretty cool. Um, other than that, it's a pretty versatile guitar. It's got a Rosewood fretboard. Jumbo frets, which, you know, some people are, they're not crazy about. I really like the jumbo frets on, on, uh, my Dean, my electric Dean right there has jumbo frets. I love it. Um, it's got the, uh, like flamed binding too, like the maple, flame maple binding, which I think is pretty cool. Adds a little element to the guitar. You probably can't see it too great in the camera, but, uh, I like that a lot. Um, it's got a tusk nut on it. I picked this guitar up for pretty treat cheap, so can't complain too much about the specs. Uh, cons on the guitar so far is uh, they need to work on quality control a little bit. I mean, there's not too much wrong with this one, but the line where you can see where they painted on the green here goes up to the binding on the neck, which that's not cool. I mean, just take your time and make that line a little bit more straight so it doesn't run up along the binding on the neck. Um, and there was something else. Oh, I don't like the way where it plug, plugs in at. It plugs in a weird spot. If you have like a guitar stand to put it on like this, it's not so bad. But if you don't have a guitar stand, it kind of sits wonky. I don't know. I don't really get the, uh, the whole reasoning behind that, but whatever. Um, besides that, I bought the guitar and it was set up pretty well. I mean, I cannot complain much. It plays great, honestly. Um, I had this and another guitar to choose from. Uh, they were both the same exact guitars, but I picked the, this one, which I thought was better. And uh, when I got home, I did notice the one thing that's weird about it is uh, when I switch to the bridge pickup, I get nothing. Unless I make it a single coil. Then I get noise, but it's like super duper twangy. Like,
actually got stolen out of my house during a move, so uh, I lost it. And I always wanted a, a Les Paul body guitar, another one. That one that I had was a quartz, and it was pretty awesome. But uh, this one's great too, man. I love it. Uh, I love the color on it. The only thing that is weird to me is this pickup, I guess. It's funky, which maybe that's just an electrical issue that somebody who knows more about guitars than I do could figure out, but I don't know that much about electric guitars. Um, it's got pearl loin, little fret markers, which I think that's pretty cool. That one. But, uh, I mean, I don't really have much else. We could do, uh, we could do some distortion. See what you guys think about that, I guess. Let's see what you guys... You guys are interested in... We'll just...